And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Stack Attack, which is a bunch of cups and dice. I'd show you the packaging for it, but when you open it up, this is what you have. Don't worry, nothing's going to fall out of it. Anyhow, this is a game about stacking dice. That's unique and interesting. Let's go crazy, though, and add rolling of dice into the mix. Woo! So how does this work? Be prepared to have your minds blown. At the beginning of the game, you're going to place the Quake Disc or whatever it's called. It's called, ah, I can't even remember. The rule's called some weird thing. It's the Quake Plate. All right. Each player is going to get a cup with five dice in it. And one player will start. They roll the dice. Did you get a one? No. Okay, next person's turn. We're going to pretend they're using the same dice because, ah, a one. Great. Now, on top of a one, I can put a two. So the next player, let's pretend the next player is orange. All right, so orange is going to roll dice here. Ooh, they got a two. They place a two on top of the one. But they're done. And then let's say the next player rolls, ooh, they can place the three here, and then the four on top of that, and then the three on top of that, because you can always go up and down one, except one and six don't wrap. So maybe later on, orange gets a two, and then a three, You can, and then green gets a four. Oh no, green made it fall. All right, so as you're adding the dice, each of your dice that's in the tower is one point, unless you're the person who made it fall. So if someone gets all their dice in a tower, it's, it's over and everyone gets one point for the tower. But if it falls, the person who made it fall, in this case is green, gets no points. But the other players are going to get one point for each die they had in the tower. And whoever made it fall will start in the next round. Now I showed you two colors, but it can go up to four different colors. That's it. The first person to get 20 wins and then you play a better game. Wow. Okay. This is the kind of game that really irritates me. Because the person who made it, what, what were they thinking? Were they thinking, ooh, I know people like to roll dice out of cups, which is true. People do like to roll dice out of cups. I know people like to stack dice, which is true. Let's make it a game. Okay. What do you got? Well, we're going to stack dice, but only if you roll one higher or lower than the number out there. So, great designer. You're saying I'm going to roll dice and I need to get a specific number and if I do, I then play a dexterity game of stacking dice on this quake plate here, which is a slightly unbalanced thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Where's the catch? That is the catch. So you're literally saying that I could play the whole game by rolling dice and never have a chance to stack one. Mm-hmm. Fun, isn't it? I will throw this cup and make it go through your forehead. This game's trash. It really irritates me. Like the components are nice, the dice are nice, but come on! Are people really that dumb? You shouldn't treat people like they're idiots, and that's what this game does. It's like, roll a dice. I mean, they won't even loop the one and the six. Why? They're like, hmm, but see, this is where the strategy of the game comes in, Tom. You missed this part, because let's say there's a stack of dice that's a four, and you roll a three, two, three, five. You could place the five on top and you only get one point. Or you could place the three, two, and then the three and get three points, but you might make the tower fall. You're right. That is a tough decision, but I think I would stack the three dice so that I hopefully could end the game. Oh, this game irritates me. Stacking dice is not that innovative as it begins with. Stacking them on this small plate that slightly tilts. Okay, I can see that a little bit, but then rolling them to see if you're even allowed to stack them or not and you have five dice and roll, and then the next person, I, I, I know they just wanted to use these, and the person who made it is like, ooh, how can we use these? But no thought was put into this game. They're packaging it and trying to get people to buy it. Don't get it. Go get one of the many, many thousands of better games. Dice Tower of Judgment, whatever. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. 
You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Yeah. Yeah.